Yo guys, Features Gaming here. Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And as you can see, we are on SCR. And yes, before you uh, say in the comments, I have had a haircut. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty late to this. But the reason why we are on SCR is because there is a brand new update, if you want to call it that, where it is the April Fool's update. Obviously, it is April the 1st. And yeah, we are basically going to check out the update. So what they have done is actually, firstly, I want to say if I open up the tab menu and I scroll down, I think you can see this. If I just quickly check, yes, you can. You can see the rank next to my name is now SG. Now that is not the April Fool's update, but I am now ranked a signaler. Obviously in the recent SG batch, I was able to pass the applications and I will talk more about that um as we go on but i am now a fully fledged uh signaler i'm not going to do that today though because we are going to be driving that is what the april fools update and what has been added to uh the express operator is the class 143 slash one quadruple pacer yeah and they've added this to express we're going to do the lynn via morganstown route because why why wouldn't we and we're basically going to drive a uh, a pacer to lynn from stepford central that's literally what we're going to be doing so obviously let's spawn in at uh stepford central and um yeah we'll get started so yeah this is the pacer obviously i need to go ahead and turn my uh graphics down just a little bit i need to also turn up my uh volume a little bit I hope that the volume is going to be okay. But as you can see, this is the new Express Pacer, which looks really weird, <laughs> doesn't it? Um, yeah, this doesn't look like uh, SCR anymore because it's an eight car train as well. I should make, well, actually, well, yeah, it is an eight car train because each one is four. And there's also a, uh, a train leaving the, uh, the depot there as well. But yeah, Express Pacer. How are we feeling about this? Obviously, I'm pretty sure this isn't a uh, this isn't a permanent update. I think this is only for the April Fool's update. But yeah, it looks really weird as my camera glitches through the wall. Um, yeah, we can drive a pacer on express. So obviously, like I said, we're going to do it on the Lynn via Morganstown route. We have, do have a speed restriction coming up though, which is interesting. Oh, I think it's a truck that's crashed into the bridge. Fantastic. So we need to drop it down to ten then and um we need to go very slow they aren't going to stop at the speed restriction because they're not even the side that's even affected but we have to go a measly 10 mile an hour as we pass through the speed restriction because the truck has crashed into the bridge anyway let's talk more about this update and other things so yeah this is the only uh update that they have added i think last year they made it so waterline operators could do express routes or something like that this is kind of similar, but they've just added in a train on Express, which is the Pacer in the Express livery, which, to be honest, actually looks pretty cool. I, I'm not going to lie. I actually think the, you know, this Express livery weirdly kind of suits the Pacer. Um, would it be something I would probably drive all the time, though? No. Is it something that's realistic? Again, no. But um, for a laugh, I actually, uh, I actually uh, kind of like what they did. And apparently they also announced some uh, some minor scenery updates as well that they have said uh, that will be implemented into the game as well. So, it, okay, I was just checking there wasn't a signaler because I'm I'm quite paranoid about that now because obviously me being a signaler myself, I'm always checking for that sorts of stuff. <laughs> and I don't know why, but um, yeah, just wanted to double check. So we are coming into platform two as there is already a pacer on platform one that is doing the exact same thing as me. I don't know what their route is, so I just hope that we aren't going to cause conflict with the uh, with the routes. But now that we are talking about that, uh, that SG thing, let's talk about that. So I will probably make um, a video on it, uh, you know, going through it in a bit more detail. But long story short, I passed it, basically. Obviously, they had the most recent SG apps, and I obviously went to apply. I really, I'm, I'm just going to shut up while it's a bit, little bit loud here, because, again, I will talk about that as well. Are we finished yet? Okay, I think we're okay now. So, 
I basically joined the SG uh, the SG application just applying to see what happens and apparently I passed and I think it was like over like 650 people that passed apparently from what I heard which is insane and it was for, it was the December 2023 one so the obviously the most previous ones um and yeah like I said I did pass the application so I was put in batch one because when you pass the singling application you're put into either one or four batches so I was put into batch one, which was basically the closest ones to today. Now, at the time of this was announced, I was pretty busy. Like I had, I think, two people uh, in my DM saying that I should stream it, which was Dweller and Jackov. Uh, I think Jackov was doing the app reader stages, which was pretty cool. So yeah, he was saying, um, I hope you're ready for the, for the, um, for the SG apps. Uh, and Dweller said, I think you should stream it. Um, and I was just like, I can't really, because it was happening on a Thursday. And obviously on a Thursday, I have a league race. So I wasn't able to, I wasn't able to stream the actual application, like the, 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 actual, the actual people being announced. Um, so yeah, it was kind of hit and miss, you know. I don't know if I'll be able to do it. I don't know if I can. We've still got the speed restriction. Of course we do um so yeah i was just like well thanks for the heads up i'm gonna be a little bit busy um so yeah i'll see what i can do but no promises it didn't even announce after my after my league race it actually announced before but i didn't even know when they were going to be announced so, so that was another thing why i wasn't able to stream it um so yeah i was put into uh batch one after i passed and what you then have to do is you have to go through a training um thing like if you were doing you know dispatcher or driver or guard training something like that and again you have to pass that and then after you've passed that then you have to do an actual assessment which is signaling on a live server so i had to do the training unfortunately i did fail my first one i forgot to change two signals uh in zone a that was the zone that i was uh asked to signal so i did um zone a and yeah, like I said, forgot to change two signals. That's fine. And again, I will talk more about it uh, when I make the proper video on it. So I failed my first one and then I passed my second one, which is pretty good, uh, which was pretty cool. And then I then had to go through my actual assessment. And that is the one. Uh, and, I, and I passed my live assessment first try, which is pretty good as well. Think of it as like a driver thing, you know, you do driving lessons and you have to do like a theory test. That theory test is sort of like the training, you know, thing that you first go through. And then obviously the actual driving test is kind of like the assessment on a live server. That's sort of how I would see the signaling application kind of like being like a like a like a proper driver in, you know, in, in the real world. Now. I will say this as well is that obviously I am friends with quite a few supervisors in SCR. Obviously, a few of them are other content creators, um, but Jackov is someone who I am a very good friend to. He is one that helped me um, when I was a or when I was instructing for WCR. He was really helping me. Obviously, he then became a supervisor in SCR. And then he then became a mobile operations supervisor. So because of that, his time constraints wasn't enough to, uh, like he didn't have enough time to do WCR. So obviously he dropped his WCR role. So yeah, he is someone who helped me a lot through the SG application. Like every training I did, he was there. Um, the first one he did, he was the host of, which was the one I failed. Um, and that was the one where I did, obviously, the, the Zone A thing. The second one was, again, he was in the server, but I wasn't, uh, I wasn't, um, I wasn't his trainee, if that makes sense. I was basically told to be supervised by someone else, um, because of how they do, you know, that, that thing. Um, so yeah, I then passed that one, which was pretty good. But then my live assessment, again, that was done by him. Which, yeah, it was a little bit weird that he was 
the one that was always present when I was doing my trainings. Obviously, he couldn't be, you know, he couldn't be biased in any way. He has to be completely impartial when doing, obviously, you know, the the, the assessing. So, all, you know, but by all means, he was fine to obviously, you know, fail me if I did something wrong, which I did in my first one. Um, so, yeah, I did that one. Like I said, failed my first one, passed my second one and passed my third one. And yeah, it was just really cool. And I want to give a shout out to Jackov. They are waiting at a red signal. I want to give a shout out to Jackov for all of his work that, um, for all of his hard work that, you know, he was doing in, you know, in terms of getting the trainings and all of the supervisors as well that were helped doing the trainings. Um, but, more, you know, more especially Jackov because he is the one who really helped me through the, um, through the SG training process. Obviously, he didn't give me answers or anything like that. He didn't do anything of that sort of thing. Obviously, that was completely, you know, my own, you know, answers and stuff. Um, he was just present when I was obviously doing all of the trainings and stuff. And, it, you know, he was always good as well. Like, he was always checking up on me saying, you know, how are you feeling? You know, I've got, I've got one tomorrow. Do you perhaps want to join? Um, so, yeah, it, it was really nice to at least have someone there who I knew and obviously wasn't going to annoy, you know, wasn't going to... I say that, wasn't really going to get annoyed at me if I failed because obviously I think that was pretty much bound to happen. Like, you know, people are going to fail on their first attempts. That's just going to happen. And I think, it, you know, for me, it was kind of just going to happen as well because obviously I was just getting into signaling. You know, it wasn't that I've been signaling for, you know, a while. And I did... When I did fail... Um, he did say uh, to me in DMs after, obviously, uh, after the training, he said, even though you failed, I was still proudly, um, or I was still surprisingly proud at how well you signaled considering the streams. Thanks. <laughs> so, yeah, that was, um, that, that was pretty funny how he was still surprisingly proud, even though I failed. Um, but, yeah, like I said, I'll explain what I did wrong in a future video. Now, you may be thinking that the layout of this video is not like my other videos. And obviously, there, there hasn't been any editing. And that is because I am pretty busy today. As you saw, I got a haircut. That was one thing that uh, I had to do today. I've got potentially work this afternoon. And I've also got my stream this evening. So, I am pretty tight on time. Obviously, I'm recording this at about 12 a.m. Uh, 12 p.m. Sorry, not 12 a.m. I'm not staying up till midnight to do this. Um, as you can see in the timer, it's 11.55. So yeah, I am basically recording this video completely off OBS. There isn't going to be any sort of editing on this because this is something that I want to record and get out as soon as possible. So obviously we're going through... Uh, or, well, yeah, that's basically one of you know, th this thing. So apologies if the audio or anything like that isn't really working properly. Um, I've tried to set it up roughly how it should be. So, um, yeah, I do apologize should anything be different. So let me get a uh, let, let, let me get a thumbnail uh, quickly uh, if I can. So, of course, that's going to do that. Of course it is. Um, so let's do this and print screen. Where's print screen? Print, print screen. There we go. And I'll see if I can uh, later on do like a, um, do like a, you know, a thumbnail shot for, you know, my face. Um, so you can probably tell that uh, I've already had a haircut before you even clicked on this video. But we are approaching a red signal right now, just outside of Morganstown, as that pacer is actually still there in front of us. So we have caught up to them. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, because we are going to be now be trading him uh, or them. I don't know who they are. But yeah, unfortunately, that is uh, going to be something. I don't even know how to even find their things. Apparently, Magoo has joined me. I don't know why, but he has. He probably saw me on the thing and just thought, you know what? Why not? I didn't even know he was even on my server, uh, <laughs> to be honest. Um, yeah, talking about that in the chat, people are saying April Fool's. So someone's recognized me, which is good. Uh, knows where Fetch is. Um... Yeah, it, it's something that usually happens when I join SCR. You know, people always, you know, say, you know, fetch, please, are you the real one? Things like that. It's kind of common when I go onto SCR and people are always recognize who I am. Oh, I should be stopping. I am too busy paying attention to chat. I'm not even stopped at the right car mark, am I? Am I? This is 
I don't know. Should I have moved up to that one? Because obviously we are on eight coaches. What was the announcer said, like, um, of how many coaches this is formed of? I probably should have um, listened to that. I didn't. Right, back up to 100. Well, 75, because that's the max speed of this pacer. Leighton Stepford Road now. Uh, and then we've got Leighton City, West Wyvern, North Shore, and Lynn by the Sea. So something else I want to talk about in this video is the other videos that I am planning on doing. Because obviously I made a video at the start of the year of my channel plans for 2024. And the main one was trying to get uh two videos at least out a month that is something that i want to try and keep doing um obviously on my channel but the thing is is that when i made those plans my the things that were happening in my life weren't too hectic. Obviously, now they kind of are, and it's a little bit, you know, kind of hectic because obviously I've got things on with, you know, my birth, you know, not my birthday, my sister's birthday video that I want to edit down. I've got things happening in XRS, I've got things happening in KRL, and yeah, it's been a little bit hectic uh, in my life since I made those plans. So. My new plan really is to try and at least get one video out a month, but I still want to try and, you know, I still want to try and keep that two videos minimum a month, but the least minimum I can go is one video per month. Obviously, like I said, my aim, obviously one video a week, and then it's changed to two videos a month, and now it's like one video a month. I, I want to make content. It is something that I want to do this year. So... I will try my absolute best to try and get these videos out, but obviously, if I am busy, then they, then, you know, then they might slow down. Because obviously, the only days I can really do stuff are Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays mainly to do uh, to to do video stuff. And obviously, I want to have time to do you know my free time stuff and all of that. And like I said, I want to properly edit them as well. I don't want them to literally be like this. Not all, not all videos are going to be in this style. So I do apologize if you're a first time viewer and you're seeing this. You've probably already clicked off the video. But not all videos are going to be in this style. Obviously, all of my videos or all future videos are going to be properly edited down. This is just a one-off because I want to get this video out today. And I've been too busy as well because this is all well and truly, video, you know, making a video on it and then uploading it in like a week you know a week's time when april fours is kind of irrelevant so yeah i kind of wanted to record this video get it out today and like i said i'm busy today so i can't really edit it it's literally going to be the raw obs video file that's being created from recording this so if this video corrupts i am screwed so yeah i just thought i would uh i would put that out there obviously future videos are going to be properly edited but yeah, like I said, you've probably already clicked off if you found this boring. Um, so yeah, my apologies if that has happened. Right, we need to slow down to uh, to 60 now. There we go. Down to 60 mph. As we are on the approach road to Leighton Stepford Road. Obviously, the first station here isn't the station we are going to be stopping at. This is Rocket Parade, which we don't stop at. Wait, it is Rocket Parade, isn't it? E of course, this is going to be the express thing, so the Rocket Parade isn't even going to be on the thing, is it? <laughs> but yeah, this is so weird that you can have a pacer doing a... Um, doing an express route. Not even that, but the express is even in the express livery. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> but that's kind of the point of April Fool's, isn't it? I wasn't planning on making an April Fool's video because obviously I, I've I've done it in the past. It's not really my thing anymore. Obviously, the last April Fool's Day I did, I was actually streaming in the morning because you know I actually had football um, in in the afternoon. It's kind of the same now, um, and I was doing a stream on it. And funnily enough, SCR did do that thing. Like I said, I uh, I streamed that. 
and i also remember there was this weird thing that happened on uh on rizzy's channel where the whole channel got overhauled by you know but by a hacker and was streaming and stuff and things like that now because i sometimes edit her videos i am added to her channel as basically an editor um so i was obviously able to take down the stream and change basic things which obviously she was very thankful of because obviously someone told me uh, in the stream that something had happened and i was able to obviously you know change it and everything but it was just so weird because i was just chilling out doing you know my my, my normal morning stream and obviously it didn't really clock me that some games did do april fools updates it was just weird that SCR did one, and I think that's the only time that I would do, or the, the the only time I would play SCR on a standard Roblox stream is if they had an update like this, which, like I said, you know, was them adding. I think it was the waterline to um to express or something like that. Obviously, this one is a little bit different because obviously it is the um it is the thing. So yeah, the station announcer did say eight coaches. So let's stop it there. There we go. And we wait for the dispatcher. A few dispatchers, because I'm pretty sure there is a dispatcher. Yep, you can just see them there. Just literally is like a few pixels. You can just about see them. West Wyvern. <laughs> so yeah. Express. Or oh, Pacer on Express. Just, it just sounds weird to say. It's one of those things that, you know, you just don't believe. And that is the point of April Fool's. You know, just saying things that just, it just is hard to believe. And it is. Why is there an express doing, or, or, you know, why is there a, or, why is there an express doing, Attention, please. doing an express oh, route? It doesn't make sense. But anyway, by the amount of time we've been held up by that other pacer leaving, we should now have roughly have a clear path to West Wyvern. Again, in a pacer. So let's just get up to uh, to line speed, which is 60. Again, I don't know if it's MPH, KPH or whatever. Whatever it is. Obviously, we can't go 125. We can only go 75. So we're gonna fly through uh through edgemead and the other ones as well the other stations whatever they are um west coast west wyvern well no we are no we are gonna stop at west wyvern you know things like the other ones like um what's it called um mill castle mill castle race course um all of those sorts of stations west coast all of those we don't care about them so yeah West Wyvern, North Shore, then Lynn by the Sea. So we should be there. Well, we should be there in two minutes. That That isn't going to happen because we're like three minutes behind schedule. Because obviously, I don't think this game took into account the speed of this pacer. Because obviously, as I said, the line speed is 125. We can't really go with that speed. We are only limited. Um, we are only limited to 75. So yeah, I don't really think this game took into consideration the speed of this pacer, uh, and that we can't do it at full line speed as it uh, as it should have been. I mean, some of it as well was wasted by that speed restriction, you know, back at Stepford Central, that 10 mile an hour thing, which was uh, which was pretty. What's the word I'm trying to think of? Which was pretty weird. How does a, how does a truck even crash into a bridge? Like. How does one even do that? I mean, I've known buses do it, like rip their top off. I mean, then again, I have actually heard of trucks do it as well, but not the cabin into the in, in, into the bridge thing. I mean, really? I don't even know. As I've been doing this journey as well, I have been seeing a few other people doing the um. Do, doing this pace uh, on express route thing. Why is my game so laggy though? I'm not normally this laggy. I mean, I'm, I'm on nine graphics, so it should roughly be smooth enough, but seems a little bit weird. Like, what is my um, FPS right now? It is. I'm running 30 FPS, which to some people I know sounds, you know, sounds alright. Mate, I'm only getting like two, you know, two FPS. How are you getting 30? 
but I, I am used to running, you know, 60, so I don't know. It just seems a little bit weird for me. Maybe that's another April Fool's update. They've, they've locked the game in at 30. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. You know, 28 approaching um, West Wyvern. I can go back to green. I was slowing down because of the yellows. Obviously, we do not stop at uh, at West Wyvern, so we can just fly through. But yeah, I was just trying to build a little bit of a gap to that next train. So now we should be able to go uh, full line speed now because we are just hit constantly hitting greens. Like, I don't know if that pacer is on a different route to us, like I said, you know, previously. Like, I don't know if they were supposed to stop at, um, at, at uh, West Coast. But um, we don't need to. Our next stop is uh, is West Wyvern. We're five minutes delayed. And we've still got like another like three miles to go. We are so behind schedule. Like we should have finished this route by now. We haven't. <laughs> stand back from the platform edge. We still need to go. Uh, we are still getting, uh, we're starting to get some interesting signals now. I mean, now it's back to a double yellow, so I can go back to line speed. Oh, yeah, this is SCR. This isn't WCR. I was going down to half line speed. Because <laughs> that's the, um, the, you know, that's the ruling in um, in WCR. You know, single amber dropped down to, uh, to half the line speed. And uh, obviously be prepared to stop. Same rules apply though with a red signal. Stop. Like don't attempt. Like don't spad. That's that's just one of the basic things, you know, of driving. You know, green is proceed. Caution is uh, is yellow. So be prepared to slow down. Obviously, the one before that is double amber, which is preliminary preliminary caution. I can never say that word first try. And then obviously uh, red is danger. Stop. Classic. Um, traffic light -like signaling isn't it or like you know management i don't know where that pace are i think i could just see them in the distance there right usually the signals or these signals are kind of spaced out a little bit because obviously of the you know this is supposed to be a you know these lines are meant for big trains so not really too much of a concern to us but obviously we still need to be you know we still need to prepare for any sudden movements obviously if there was a signal uh if there was a signal on here they would obviously prevent any um adverse signal changes i think i'm the only signaler in this server yes i am great <laughs> for anyone who is probably going to be asking if i'm gonna ever do a signaling on a uh, you know on a public server and things like that i don't know about that because the, the um the, the the proper truth of me getting signaler really is just for the rank if i'm gonna be completely honest like i never really went into the signaling application as getting it i will be i will be honest about that obviously this isn't a proper you know this isn't a proper channel if i don't actually give my honest opinions i didn't really go into it expecting to actually pass i just did it and just see what happens if i got it then great if i didn't then it i wasn't going to really be bummed because i wasn't really going into it wanting to pass obviously it would have been nice to pass and get the rank but i wasn't going into it wanting it if that makes sense um so yeah i guess in some ways that does kind of a, like that does kind of alleviate that's not the that's not even a word it does sort of like lessen the pressure of trying to make it good because obviously you know that you aren't doing it in order to get it you know if that makes sense so yeah i guess in some cases in some day in i literally can't even speak in some ways it is um it is better that i um that i didn't really go into it wanting to pass and i did i went through the training things like i was supposed to obviously you know 
I probably will at some time maybe do one like if I'm if I get experienced you know with signaling then uh then I you know I might do one but don't expect anything it's just the point is is that I know how to signal now obviously I've read through the um through the setup guides um I kind of know zone A and zone D I think off by heart now and zone G zone G is literally Literally, all you need to do is zone G, is change a depot, one of the mainline signals, two more depots, uh, the station at, it's not, f is it Farley? Or is it Rosedale Village? It's one of those, so I can't really remember. I think it might be Rosedale Village. Um, and then changing Estherfield as well, and the uh, Estherfield depot as well. It's pretty basic once you uh, once you get it down. With obviously zone D and zone A, it's a little bit more complicated, but again, still nothing that's um still nothing that isn't, you know, manageable. And zone D was funnily enough the one I um the one I passed on as well. Because I did zone A, like I said, for my first training. My second training I did um, was on zone D. Um, and then my live assessment, I did zone A. I actually don't know if I'm allowed to announce the zones that I did. Um, but I am. So, <laughs> there you go. I probably should have, uh, I probably should have asked. But again, back to my, you know, back to my point. I wasn't actually planning to do this video until I woke up this morning and saw SCR has had an update and someone told me on my Discord and I was just like, great. <laughs> also, if you do want to join my Discord and uh, anything like that, all of my socials are obviously linked in the description below. So obviously make sure you go ahead and join them should you want to. But as we are obviously um, loading up at North Shore. As you can hear, Lynn by the Sea is next. Let's have a look at the uh, at the sliding doors. Are you ready? The bus on wheels. The nickname of this train, the pacer. The, well, I think people call it the bouncy train. People call it a bus on wheels. It effectively is a bus on wheels because you know the the doors are literally off a bus. Um, <laughs> you know. Just makes sense, really. But yeah, we are finally going to um, going to finish off this route. Going to be slowing down soon to the forty-five line speed, and then approaching onto either platform zero, one, two, three, or four. I don't think express stop at five or six. I think that's when it starts going to connect. I might be wrong though, but I'm pretty sure express utilized the first sort of five platforms, including platform zero. Again, like I don't know if this is something that I'm supposed to know as a you know as a signaler. Like if I'm supposed to know the platform allocation of literally each station of each operator. Some of them are pretty easy to, you know, to, to, to understand. Obviously platforms one to four at Stepford East are, you know, connect and then uh, platforms five to eight are Airlink. I don't know if it's something that I'm supposed to, you know, that I'm supposed to know. <laughs> we will shortly be arriving I think that's roughly the same though. See, that's the other pacer, and they are on platform... Uh, well, I'm going on to platform four, so if it's that one... Yeah, so it is the first... Um, but no, it isn't. Okay, so Express do start pressing on W. Um, so, um, yeah, Express do stop on platform five, then. I didn't know that. You learn something new every day. <laughs> Honestly, I was pressing W, and I was supposed to be pressing S. <laughs> I want to actually stop at Lynn by the Sea. You know, I don't just want to, you know... I didn't just want to crash into the buffers, did I? I mean, I, I, I know buffers like to be eaten sometimes, but not for, you know, not, not for breakfast. Not for dinner either. Now standing at 
But there we are. Finish at Limbo the Sea in a pizza on Express. Obviously, they're going to be turning around. I'm not going to be doing the thing. But you can just see the back of my train. Like, it's just in the station. This train is massive. Absolutely massive. But there you go. 10 minutes delayed. Finish the route. 30 minutes it's taken because I was stuck behind that train, obviously. We had that uh, thing at um at uh, Stepford Central, but you can see that there. That's what this uh, update has been a pacer added on Express. But thank you everyone for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Again, I do apologise if this was a little bit boring, but obviously all future videos will be cut down into a properly edited video. But thank you everyone for watching. If you did enjoy this and you did have a laugh with me, then make sure you do leave a like. Make sure to subscribe as well for more content. And I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. But until then, take care and peace out.